Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long time since I have said that. But I have a lot of updates. Um, I basically the biggest thing is that I moved and so I have a new background, my beautiful shelves. I am so happy, literally so happy. Um, I will say my bookshelves are not organized or anything like that. So I will have like a bookshelf tour one of these days, but my bookshelves are not to my liking. Honestly, I have a lot of like colored books. Like my shelves are very colorful and I actually don't like that. I don't like how colorful my books are. I kind of like want a lot of black. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to organize my books. I'm very curious to see how everyone else does it because I like everyone else's shelves but I do have my favorite my favorite parts of my shelves and like this is one of my favorites. But anyway, I am just very excited and happy to be back. It feels really good to be back. If you guys have anything you wanna see in particular, I do have some fall things coming. Like I will be decorating my shelves for fall. It's just, I haven't done it yet. Um, I've ordered some things, so it's on the way. <laughs> but um, anyway, enough of the chit chat. It feels really good to be back. Thank you to everyone who stuck around. Um, I am very excited to be back making videos and yeah, I, it was a very unexpected break, but it was a good one. Like I, I think I did need it and I needed that time to just reset and to settle. So anyways, I have like a fun video today. It's kind of, I mean, it's fun to me. It is my fall TV on all these books and I'm like, this is a lot of books, but it's my first video back. So I'm like, it's fine. Please excuse me. I'm looking down. Um, my laptop is down here with my notes, but I have a fun TBR because I have some romance books, but I have some non-romance like um, cozy fantasy and cozy mysteries, which I'm really excited to read more of this year. So I'm excited. I have so many books I want to read and I don't have nearly most of them, but I was like, this is already ridiculously long, so we're just gonna do our best to not put every single book that I want to read. Anyways, let's get right into it. So we're gonna start with the romance books, and the first book I have on my list is The Fall of Bradley Reed by Morgan Elizabeth. I actually got this book last year. It was on my TBR last year, and I did not get to it, unfortunately, but I'm really excited for this one. This is like a John Tucker Must Die rom-com, and I guess it's like set during the fall because it has like I don't know it's definitely like more fall themed um that's all I know about it so I'm excited about it um and this will be my first Morgan Elizabeth book I actually I want to do some like taste test videos or like when I read a bunch of books by a certain author I just don't know what to call it I'm like playing around with the names and I definitely want to like read dive into some Morgan Elizabeth books and uh she's going to be at Love in Vegas as well so I actually really need to read this one really really soon so that I can read some of her books and all that so anyway very excited for this one um I've heard really good great things about Morgan Elizabeth so um if you guys have any books in particular you'd like for me to read let me know and I will vlog them but I'm excited to read this one this one came out last year the, um, like the the cover is just very fall. It's just giving. The very popular pumpkin spice cafe, pumpkin spice uh, pumpkin spice cafe by Lori Gilmore. So I'm excited for this one. I wanted to read this one last year again, but I didn't get to it. And now it's really really popular. Like you can't even like find the book anywhere, which is just wild. I don't know the last time that's happened. I think that's crazy, really great for the author, but not great for us who want the cute cover. Um, but I just know this is set in like a small town, kind of like Gilmore Girls-esque small town, stars hollow vibes, and that's it. I guess it's like about a cafe. I don't know. I actually don't know anything about it. I don't know any details. All I know is it's like small town. It's very cozy. and. I think it's just like a romance. I don't think it's like a cozy mystery. I think it's a romance. So it has like honestly some pretty mediocre middle of the road reviews, but I think it's just like very cozy, which I'm in the mood for cozy. So I think that's why everyone is like excited to pick it up. I have Blood Orange by Karina Halley. So I haven't read a book by this author in a long time, 
but I do love Karina Halley's books and I think it's been like a year since I've read a book by her. Um, but I'm excited for this one. I think this is her Dracula duet and it's a duet so there's another book too. Um, but I'm just in the mood for that. She has like a lot of books that are kind of like paranormal fantasy-esque and this one just came out on audio. I know it came out last year so I'm really excited to read it. Um, I'm gonna be really annoyed if I love it and then I want to jump right into the second book and the audiobook isn't out. Um, I don't know anything like when the second one will be coming out or anything like that but I'm excited. I'm really sorry. The lighting just changed. That is annoying. Sun come back. Um, very sorry about the lighting change but anyway um, yeah I'm excited to read this one. I haven't read anything other than her, um, her uh, just like contemporary romances. So I'm actually excited to like dive into her paranormal stuff. And then we have Killer Fine by Alexis Grace. So I got this rag from Jess for a piece of book. She posted it on her story and it just intrigued me. And I was like, I might save that if I don't get around to it. Um, and I am. So this is a, um, why choose romance it's a romantic suspense and i think we're on the hunt for a serial killer i'm very excited about this one because i read my first why choose book series earlier this year and i loved it i'm very curious to see if i like why choose in a contemporary setting or if my like if my preference is paranormal because i actually didn't think i liked why choose but i loved that series and i'm just I really want to dive into that. I'm really intrigued by what works for me in some books and what doesn't work for me in some books or tropes, etc. Is it like the author? Is it the writing? Is it the tropes? Is it the genre? Like, I don't know. And this is definitely a subgenre in romance that I really want to dive into. So if you guys want to see me do a vlog where I read some of my two romances to kind of like, kind of test this theory, if it's mainly paranormal or maybe I do like what I choose. I don't know. I have to say, I don't really, my theory is I don't really like why I choose in a contemporary setting. But I love romantic suspense. I'm a big romantic suspense girly. I love them. There's just not enough of them. Like I know that romantic suspense is becoming more popular, but I definitely want a good mix of romantic suspense and the romance. Suspense and the romance. I feel like authors write a more write on the more romancy side, and I want a book that has a good good balance of both. So I've only found a couple. So anyway, I think this could work because it is romantic suspense and it's not like fully contemporary. Anyway, I'm blabbing, but I just I want to I want to test this theory, and I want to read a few different books. So if you guys want a video like that, let me know. Bourbon and Lies by Ava Hunter. So I really 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 want to read this book. This has really great views. Again, this is like romantic suspense and this would be a, a book that I've never read by a new to me author and it recently came out. People love this one and it's all over like bookstagram specifically and I know a couple of my other friends here on YouTube enjoy this one as well. I'll try it. I really do want to try it and give it a try. So I think it's a cowboy romance too. It just sounds like it. Maybe it's not. Okay, then we have the very popular fantasy romance, and that is Quick Silver by Callie Hart. So there's a bunch of fantasy romances that I want to read, and I absolutely will be vlogging. So some of these, I'm definitely like, I hope I do have videos, video ideas centered around some of these as well. But Quick Silver has kind of like taken over like fantasy romance, like fans and I want to give it a try. It sounds really interesting. It's like a fey romance but it it has a little twist on it so I'm, I'm excited to read it what I think. So the audio is coming out in October so I'm waiting for the audiobook um, but there's several other romances that I want to read so I want to re read A Fear the Flames by Olivia Darling. I believe that's her name. Um, I'm very excited for that book. Um, that was an indie romance fantasy romance and now it has been traditionally published. I actually just ordered a physical copy. I have an audiobook. I have the audio but I wanted a physical copy because I love to follow along and read. So I can't wait for those. Um, I also want to read When the Moon Hatched. Uh, is that by Sarah A. Parker? I just know that it has dragons in it. I also know For the Flames have dragons in it 
and I definitely want some fantasy romance with some dragons. That just sounds like the time of my life, honestly. So I definitely want to read those. This Throne of Glass here. So I've actually read the first two books in the series and then I just didn't continue. Um, I read them last year, but I'm going to be rereading it and I'm absolutely going to be vlogging the heck out of it. So expect an epic Throne of Glass reading vlog. I am so excited. Cannot wait to read this series. I just know it's going to be amazing because everyone says it's amazing and I believe everybody. I believe that, you know? So I'm excited. I have all the books and they're all just waiting for me. My fantasy shelf is like all the way down there. Um, so unfortunately you will never see my fantasy shelf, but I'm excited. But um, I, like I said, I have read the first two books. So I have to reread those and then we'll dive into the other books that I haven't read, obviously. And then duet, One Dark Window and Two Twisted Crowns by Rachel Gillick. So I am just stoked for this because I tried to read this earlier this year and I was like, you know what? I just feel like this is going to be perfect around fall. And I just remember this gave me like kind of like spooky, ooky vibes pretty much immediately. So I'm intrigued. This is like young adult, but I think it's like more new adult please tell me if i'm wrong about that i feel like it's a little aged up um so i'm very very intrigued by this duet people love this duet like i know tori loves this one i know it's very popular on bookstagram so i am just intrigued and i definitely want to read it and i definitely want to give it a try so absolutely absolutely there's more uh fantasy and indie fantasy romances that I want to read, but we just don't have the time. So you guys will hear about them, see them in a vlog, all that good stuff. Okay, and lastly, we have If It Makes You Happy by Julie Olivia. So this is a new release that just came out, but this is giving 90s. It's all, it's honestly, it's giving You've Got Mail. It's giving 90s rom-com. And I love a 90s rom-com, okay? And you've got mail. What am I saying you've got mail? No, it's not you. Harry Met Sally. I did not mean to say you've got mail, but it's giving when Harry Met Sally and like when it's all like the, the fall, like the leaves, the trees behind them. That's what this cover is getting. Giving, I don't know what this book is about. I do not care. Everyone just says it's cozy. It's romantic. It's giving nostalgia. And I just give me, give me it. Okay. Get into the non-romance. We're gonna get into the cozy fantasy and I do think a lot of these have some kind of romance element to them but they're not focused on the romance so we're not counting it in the romance genre. The Spell Shop by Beth Durst. I hope I said her name right. This just looks very like magical and I want to read it so I want to read that one. And then we have Sword Heart by T. King for sure. Yes I have heard about this book for a long time. I know like Crystal loves this one and Riley from Riley Marie loves this one like so many people love it and I definitely want to give this a try so I definitely am hoping to get to this one this fall season. We have Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. Um, this is like historical romance cozy fantasy and that just very much intrigues me because it's reminding me of like um what is that called the chronicles of like Veronica the Veronica Speedwell series which I have started, I need to finish. Um, but it's kind of, that's kind of giving like historical, you know, kind of, which would be perfect to read during the fall. But um, I'm just wondering if this is kind of like it, but I've heard it's like historical romance, cozy fantasy, and that just intrigues me. I think historical romance is perfect to read um, during these uh, colder, crispier months. Okay, then we have The tr Trees of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. So, listen, Samantha from Books of Samantha has been reading a lot of Brandon Sanderson, and Crystal loves it, and I'm just like, okay, I feel left out. And Samantha said that this one is not as high fantasy, and that this one has more romance. So, I, I think this would be a good one to start with. Um, just never read anything by him. I've only heard of the epic, you know, the high fantasy stuff, which I don't even know if I can read. I don't know if, like... I can comprehend that. I don't know, or like follow along, like I don't really know, but 
I want to give this one a try and apparently it has some good romance in it so I want to give this one a try for sure and then we have can't spell treason without T by Rebecca Thorne I don't know what this book is particularly about I just know it's like a sapphic cozy fantasy and I'm there I'm there I am there with bells and whistles so that intrigues me a lot and um, I really can't tell what it's about from the cover something like tea they look like they're in like a bookstore I don't know but that intrigues me as well because I can't really figure out what it's about <laughs> okay so next I have a fantasy book I have Jade City by Fonda Lee so I just want to give this one a try it sounds so interesting and like epic and amazing so I definitely want to give this one a try I also want to try the Woman, The Women, by and I'm, I want to read some books that are just completely out of my comfort zone. I'm already stepping out. I've never read a cozy fantasy, so I'm so intrigued by these cozy fantasies because I've never read a cozy fantasy. Um, so I'm also intrigued by a couple of these. So I just definitely want to step out of my comfort zone and just read books that are just outside of that because the the plots and the summaries sound so interesting and I just definitely want to give it a try and expand my horizons. So those are just a couple books um, that I want to read and the other one is just the women's historical fiction and I don't know if I like historical fiction. I don't, I just don't think like wars and you know all that stuff sounds interesting to me but I have a feeling that historical fiction mystery could work for me because I really love historical like I love mystery and um, I love mystery so much so I'm just I'm curious if, like that could work for me that's another one I definitely want to dive into and like see what I think okay so then we have some cozy mysteries so we have um on here I have complete the Sloan Krauss sorry if I'm saying that name wrong series by Ellie Alexander books three through five so I've read books one and two I don't I remember them I'll have to like reread what they were about just to kind of revive my memory but I remember me loving this series and it just gave me it gave me like fall vibes I just remember it being perfect I think the first book happened around some kind of like fall festival I could be wrong but I just remember it gave me all the fall vibes I have to say I've read quite a few books by L.D. Alexander at this point like like probably like five and I really enjoy her I think that she's probably my favorite gonna be my coat my favorite cozy mystery author I've already read a few cozies before but I haven't read enough in my opinion to like come up with a recommendations video or anything like that but um, I want to change that I really want to get into more cozies I would love to be for that to be like in regular rotation because I think cozies are perfect to read seasonally um, but I think obviously they're absolutely perfect around this time of year so I really want to dive into like finish this series so I want to read that and then I want to read A Batter of Life and Death and Catch Me If You Can Be by Ellie Alexander and this is a part of her like big shop mystery series that's book two and 17 and the reason why is because they're like fall like themed so I've read the first book in the series and I liked it um, so the second book is obviously like the natural next book in the series but I am gonna jump to the 17th book because it is like fall oriented so I want to read that and from my understanding it's fine to jump around um, of course it's like recommended to read in order just because you like get more out of it but I do want to read more fall like things so I want to just jump to that one and then I'll jump back in the series and I'll go in order. Um, then I want to read The Cider Shop Rules by Julie and Lindsay. This is on Hoopla. So if you have Hoopla, this might be in your library. I found it online. So I'm very excited about this one. And the last one I have is Murder at the Pumpkin Pageant by Darcy Hanna. I know the books with Samantha, Samantha from Books with Samantha, and um, Spencer from Intentionally Bookish have a cozy mystery um, book club seasonally. And this is their fall book for the season this is their book club pick for the fall season and I think when I'm filming this, this is the day that they're doing the live show and um I don't know I was I think I got the I got the dates mixed up so I'm gonna miss that but I do really want to read it it sounds so cute kind of sounds like there's like a haunted house situation or something I'm very intrigued by it that's it for today thank you all so much for watching I have really missed talking to you all and I have missed 
chatting and talking about books and it feels really really good to be back so um let me know what books are on your fall tbr um have you read any of these do you have any recommendations for me um what videos would you like to see like like i said i have a lot of um these books planned around some vlogs that i want to do so just let me know but thank you all so much for watching leave me like some kind of fall emoji okay leave it down below thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye